Ever since the 18th century, circuses as you and I know them today have been touring around the world, bringing with them death-defying stunts, amazing feats of strength and agility, and most importantly, a feeling of joy and elation for all who come to see them. And I know that there's the thing that stays constant is the big top. And today I'm in Columbus, Ohio, and once again, I'm gonna work with the great people of Cirque du Soleil and help them put up their massive big top as they prepare for one of their most riveting shows, Corteo. Now, right now, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, everyone is scrambling because the big top has to go up today. And this is the tent master, Martin. Martin, how you doing? Good, how are you? It's scrambling over here, huh? Yeah, it's pretty busy. So, 7 in the morning, you guys are always running and gunning. It's yeah, as soon as all the trucks are here, we start getting this ready. So right now, we're standing in the circle of, obviously, yeah. the huge big top that's going to yeah, go up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. How big is this thing going to be? This is 166 feet diameter, right? and it sits 2,700 people, and it should be up by, if we're lucky, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So 2 o'clock. So yeah. you're the tent master, which means yeah. what? You're in charge of, of everyone, the rigging, everything? I'm in charge of all the tents that are on site, OK? The technical crew is in charge of what happens in the tent. OK, so your goal is by 2 o'clock, to make sure that the canvas, the huge big top, goes up. Yeah. So, okay, what do you want me to do? I'll do whatever yeah, you, you want. You can start spreading plastic with those guys. I'm gonna spread plastic all around because it's a pretty fragile piece of canvas, obviously. Okay. So, uh, Gilles, Matt's gonna help you out. You guys are gonna start spreading, continue spreading with uh, with him. His name Jill? Jill. Jill. Or Gilles. Mateo. Martin. No, Matt. Matt. Okay, Matt. I'm just trying to fit in. <laughs> okay, Mathieu, let's go help them. All right. So do we start right here and do this by ourselves? Well, actually, at this point, uh, we're just beginning the day, so the, the local crew hasn't joined in yet. The local crew, you mean because you guys actually were in Columbus, Ohio, and Cirque du Soleil will actually hire like 40 hometown people to work with them for the you know, weeks that they're here, right? Exactly, because to unroll this thing, you need a lot of manpower. Uh -huh. One part is going up, and the rest of the canvas is rolled up on the truck. So this so, blue and yellow thing, that's the actual canvas? That's the canvas. And that we're using this plastic to only just to protect the canvas, nothing else? Yeah, exactly. Because if you have little pebbles or something sharp underneath, sometimes it punctures little holes. Then when the sunlight is out and you have the show going on, you can see little star gotcha. on the roof. You don't want that. So the canvas is our baby. We're going to nurture it. We're going to coddle it, make sure it doesn't get hurt, but we're going to make it grow. Exactly, but you don't want to grow it too much. All right, come on, Daddy, <laughs> let's go help. As Jill and I roll out the plastic, more trucks for this huge production roll in. Corteo brings with it 149 permanent staff members and 2.5 million pounds of equipment, which includes office trailers, kitchens, power equipment, and even temperature controls, all under one really big top. We've pretty much laid out all the plastic, correct? Yes. Which real time has only been about five minutes. You guys are quick. So what's next? As soon as the manpower comes in, we're going to start taking that tent and kind of spreading it out on these plastics. It's 8 o'clock right now. Locals are rolling in. We need to get this stuff done by 2 o'clock. So it's time to work. OK, guys. Again, watch where you walk. <laughs> Hell, this thing's heavy. <laughs> Each tent weighs 26,000 pounds, and when rolled out, it's 549 square feet. On the other side, and after Watch. we'll straighten the whole thing out. So, if you're wondering about the controlled chaos, it's basically everyone's listening to the voice of Martin. Okay, come this way. He's kind of the ringleader. It's like anything else, dude. Any other job, it's all about these guys working teamwork, man. It's good stuff. Now you have to stretch it a little bit. You're gonna unroll this thing. Right. It takes approximately 30 people total to unravel the tent. All in all, to fully erect the big top, counting the crew and the local help, there will be up to 80 people involved at one time. Gilles, I gotta be honest with you. I'm really happy right now. I'm not gonna be here when you package everything up. <laughs> Little more. All right, Gilles, so what are you doing? You're stitching the uh, canvas to the blue ring? Yes, exactly. So going. as we said before, the ring are going to bring raising part of the tent, the four rings. So we have to line up, the, find the right positioning for it. Then once this is over, we have those uh, kind of a pretty big rope over here. Right. So you have to just go around there 
and uh, once it's positioned. Yeah, it's so, like tying your shoelaces. Yeah, exactly, but it's a big one. Yeah. And so you go around and you do that all around. This is going to be attached to the cable over here. Mathieu, if you just want to hold this thing. Mathieu, is that my new name? Mathieu, that's a French version of Mathieu. So I'm going to pull on this one, and you're going to release on this one. All right, go for Guys? It. So do you want me on the inside or the outside? On the inside. It's going to be heavy. Just be ready, OK? We have, as we lift up, we have to push it towards the outside that way, actually, OK? Martin, I have a question for you. Go. Who's in the most dangerous spot right now? You are. Well, the one that's closer to the mess. Yeah. Because you could get squished. So All right. One, two. Up. Come on, guys, push it up. Oh my god. This mast ring weighs approximately 600 pounds. Dude, am I supposed to be holding this rope or holding the ring? Uh, hold the rope. Hold the rope. So you don't want me to hold the ring? Grab it underneath, guys. Grab it underneath. Okay. Come on, guys, push it up. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, up. Up. That's okay. it. Stay there. Am I hooking this yeah. in? You're going to hook this over here. <laughs> Hold it there. Everybody surviving? So far. OK, it's coming. Nice. 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 OK, good. Now good everybody's going to need to dock in and go out. Go out? Yeah, from there. Oh. The first part of raising the ring is done. I actually got a little nervous right there. All right, so all four rings are done. Now all we're gonna four rings are done. What they're going to do, they're going to lift up the cupola just a bit right? so the guys can work. Uh, so the technicians can do their thing yeah. there? OK. And the, all, everybody else is going to work on getting those lacings together, getting the ratchets in. And at the end, it's going to be putting all the bridges all around the tent. There's about 14 of them. All right, so it's 9.10 right now. How are we looking time-wise? We're looking pretty good. Good. We're looking pretty good. OK, so right now I'm inside the tent. We've already done the outside. Everything has been laced, stitched. All the harnesses have been strapped. All the doors are in place. Now, again, we're inside. And what we're doing is they're cranking up the four pillars on the side, and they're raising the tent up. Although the cupola is hoisted into the air by a motor, most of the tent is still lifted by crew members hand cranking wrenches. Under the big top, brute strength still rules the day. You know who Steve Etman is? <laughs> no. Number one draft pick, 1992. He was my strength coach back at the University of Washington. Yeah, it shows. Does it? <laughs> Love you, baby. As soon as this thing lifts up about another six feet, you're going to see the entire crew rush in here and start hooking the poles up. It's going to be a really fast, really big process. Let's get to work. All right, right now, they're obviously Put putting the poles up. Straight. Dude, high intense. Adrenaline rush, I'm gonna hop in and start helping these guys out. Okay, everybody ready? One, two, three, four! Working in a clockwise direction, the crew uprights 120 of these poles. Come on, baby. At 16 feet tall, the blue poles help support the weight of this massive tent. Get up. As they're raised, workers on the raise crank ratchets adjust the tension of the tent supporting cables. This ensures that the canvas is as tight as possible. You! I feel so alive right now. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, oh, it. Lift it off the ground, that one. Oh. Lift it off the ground. Push it up. Push it up. Ah. Almost done. So fully erect, the big top covers over 34,800 square feet of space. Oh! stuff, guys. Good. That was really, really awesome. Oh, All right, Philippe. All right. We're about to go up, huh? So should I be nervous? No, it's easy. We're going to climb. Uh, there's two ropes coming from the cupola. All right. At the end, there's a guy who will install a ladder outside. We're going to climb the ladder because we need to close uh, the what we call the condom All around right. the mast. We need to put the bypass, this turnbuckle, each side of the mast, so the ring will hang on the static, not on the turfer. Gotcha. There. I got to tell you, before I was like a four nervous. Now I'm getting kind of closer to like a six. <laughs> I'm nervous. You're not nervous? No, I'm not nervous. There's two types of people in this world, Philippe. <laughs> those that live and those that live scared. Yeah. 
You're not gonna catch me on the ladder, <laughs> baby. Let's go. All right. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. This is great. So right now we're taking this bottom piece of the big top and we're tying it onto the mask, otherwise known as covering the condom is what they call it. Basically like tying your shoe, man. In one hole, out the other hole, and you tie it all the way around. Except add a 60 foot drop in your life depending on a one inch cable, that helps. So you can start to uh, lace it up. We finally reached the last stage of the big top raising process. By covering the top of the tent's four corners with this big blue tarp, it ensures that no rain or foul weather will leak into the tent and cause problems for the performers or the audience below. All right, we're basically done. That's it? Yeah. Thanks for everything, Philippe. That's all. I appreciate all right. it, man. Thanks for your help. Thank you, brother. Have a nice day. The sense of urgency to put up such a big structure in only one day's of work was super intense. Somehow, out of the controlled chaos, a beautifully orchestrated team effort made the big top that I'm standing on right now possible. Through a basic understanding of togetherness, the men and women of the construction crew for Cirque du Soleil's Corteo are able to bring a otherwise complex stationary show to your hometown. And that is a really big thing. <laughs>